Well, in July of last year, violence broke out during what was supposed to be a protest Portland event for Hank Gilbert, then a candidate for U.S. Congress in Texas's first con congressional district. Well, today, folks gathered back at that exact spot at the square in downtown Tyler for a remembrance. Our Matt Lackritz spoke with some of the victims who were assaulted about how they look back at 2020's violent protest. We shall... A drastically different atmosphere at the square in downtown Tyler compared to around a year ago when hundreds of armed counter-protesters flooded the square in opposition to Hank Gilbert speaking out about what was happening in Portland. After counter-protesters drowned out Gilbert's speech, Paul Benson was grabbed by the neck. And you can see it in the man's eyes, the hatred, and it was, you could feel it in the crowd that day. This image didn't just make its way around East Texas, but around the entire country. Even after all this time, Benson still thinks about that day. Well, I'm a little traumatized by that, and my wife didn't want me to come today because of fear of something like that would happen again. Benson isn't the only person caught in the violence. Dr. Nancy Nichols was at the protest to register people to vote. They had already been pushing Mike, my husband, and one of the men, the man that you see in the popular photograph, punched me. Both Benson and Nichols filed police reports soon after what happened. Benson says the district attorney's office told him Thursday they would take the case to a grand jury within six months. Nichols says she hasn't heard anything from police after last checking up a few months ago. We've got you covered, East Texas. Matt Lackritz, CBS 19. All right, Matt, thank you for that report. Well, Nichols says she expressed frustration with the police department after not hearing back about her case after all this time.